In this video, we are going to discuss the class selector of CSS that we have done in previous tutorial. Let us look at the code of this page. So this is the code that we are going to discuss. So here what you can see is in the style tag, it is a little different from the code that we have written in the previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial, this P was not there. It was just like the dot operator that it is representing the class and the center is the name of the class. And wherever uh, the web page is going to find uh, this class inside the body tag, so it will apply these formatting options to that particular class content. In this particular example, we have added this P here, P as in paragraph and rest of the code for the style tag is same. If we look at the body tag here, we have one heading tag and one paragraph tag. So because we have mentioned P dot center, that means the class of P, that means the paragraph which is having the class name as center. So this formatting options will be applicable to only that particular content over here. So if we look at the output of this practical, so you can see that the paragraph content is getting affected with the CSS content that we have given. However, the heading tag is having whatever content that is not getting affected on the web page like this. So if only selected part of the HTML web page is supposed to be affected. So we are going to use the class selector for that purpose. 